Kim Ross and Bloom, uh, they obviously had quite a lot of hanging baskets, some lovely shrubbery, some nice gardens. But what they really needed was a bit of muscle. And as a five foot ten teenage boy, I was the perfect candidate. But imagine my f- horror when I turned up at this industrial estate in Kinross to be handed a Ghostbusters style backpack with a pump on the side <laughs> on a, a rare hot day in Kinross. And this old guy said to me, right, son, you need to conserve the water, so don't go down for the pump. Spangleman. And I said, right, Magic, where are you going to drop me off? And he just laughed and was like, drop you off. And he gave me a map and said, that's your route. (laughs) And he said, if you run out of water too quickly, you have to come back here, refill, and then get back out. So I was like, okay, brilliant. So I was was two scooshies per... uh, for hanging basket so for every hanging basket there might have been two pumps and a scoosh but there was about 60 yeah. beeps of the horn of the cars going your water <laughs> you f- <laughs> what are you doing cogs all that kind of were stuff were you still at school at this point i was still at school it was f- humiliating and i got paid i think i got six pounds an hour which was i thought was pretty good and at no point you thought this was a f- stupid idea martin i'd have done anything for money at that stage of my life <laughs> and keep- what's changed 